Stem cells could be the cure, the key rather, to curing type 1 diabetes. Researchers at the Barbara Davis Center at the Anschutz campus are developing ways to give patients new insulin producing cells. As CBS4's Dylan Thomas shows us, it's the leading edge of diabetes research. David Ramirez checks his blood sugar regularly. He watches what he eats and balances his exercise. I definitely worry about it. He thinks about his type 1 diabetes every hour of every day. Things aren't perfect. I still don't know how to bowl for pizza correctly, but... David looks forward to a day when he doesn't have to count carbs. Those are colonies of pluripotent stem cells. Holger Russ is working toward that day, too. Yes, we definitely have a cure in mind. Every day, he and his team at the Barbara Davis Center feed and grow stem cells. Cells like us need nutrition. Three years ago, he was able to coax these stem cells into becoming glucose reactive, insulin producing beta cells. They can function there, can basically secrete insulin in response to elevation in blood sugar, which happened after the patient ate. The very cells that David is missing, which requires him to pump insulin into his body. There are at least two more steps ahead. Those steps include figuring out how to protect those cells as they go into and live in a patient's pancreas. If we can replace their beta cells, we would now have a biological pancreas. Essentially a cure, but a cure for type 1 diabetes comes at a cost. The mission of the Children's Diabetes Foundation is to fund research. The research is very expensive and this is a major hurdle for us. For David, this stem cell research is priceless because it gives him hope for the future. I'm Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Impressive. Every researcher we talked to at the Barbara Davis Center said that this line of research is extremely exciting, but I'll caution that we are still years away from having a cure.